One minute. Shortly after liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Leah Cheshire, will take over commentary. T minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus two seconds. Go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. The space launch system is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. Ten, Hydrogen one, burn off igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engines start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the first stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Carrying good, good control on the road, teams of Mission Control Houston, all good calls so far, now 30 seconds into the flight mark as one. First milestone will be for the vehicle to pass through max Q at about 1 minute and 9 seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmosphere force launch rocket. stage engines are back at maximum thrust. The next major milestone will be for the solid rocket boosters to cut off and jettison about two minutes and 11 seconds into the flight. Confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters. Now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion, all four RS-25 engines firing, traveling over 3,400 miles per hour, 46 miles downrange.